Hey, welcome to the Cold Steel Corner. Today we have Steve with us. What's going on, guys? Steve, comb your hair? Yeah, man, always. <laughs> always. <laughs> no, this guy never combs his That's hair. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> All right. So the real reason we're here, not to talk about my hair. We're here to talk about one of our flagship knives that we have here, the Recon One. Hey Matt. Yeah. I've got a story for you. You ready? Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. Of course. All right, it all started about 10 oh, years ago. Steve and his stories. Here we go again. Me, 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 me. Here I go again, so telling stories. Story. Uh, real cool. I really wish I was doing anything else right now. So lame. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, so my first day at work at Cold Steel, I, I walked into Lynn's office and, and Lynn says, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. And he asks me what knife I'm carrying. And <laughs> of course I check my pockets, I've got nothing. Believe me, that is not what you want to tell Lynn Thompson, that no. you're not carrying a knife. <laughs> if you ever work for Cold Steel and he asks you what knife you have and you don't have a knife, ooh. <laughs> Woo. Definitely. But it worked out in my favor because that same day, Lynn walked up and said, hey, go pick out a knife. And of course, the first knife I wanted was the Recon 1. I got the half serrated and I love this knife. I use it all the time. Um, all kinds of tactical stuff. I'm a pretty tactical kind of guy. Yeah, really, Steve? Yeah. What yeah. kind of tactical stuff do oh, you do? Oh, dude, everything. All sorts of stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> Just cool, tactical. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty cool. Oh, I I know you're cool. Yeah, yeah, you're for definitely sure. cool for sure. Well, seeing as you're so tactical and whatnot, Steve, your your knife looks pretty clean. <laughs> what? Yeah, but, uh, it's what? it's totally used. What are you talking about? When was the last time you used don't it? Don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry about oh, it. Okay. I use it all the time. All okay, right? all right, all right, all right. Jeez, don't get so sensitive. <laughs> I've been waiting for this book. I've been trying so hard to connect with her. Dad, where do you go? Come here. Help! Dad! Dad! So that's that's how I use my knife. Matt, how do you how do you use your knife? Oh, just here and there, you know, daily duties, you know, nothing nothing that extravagant. Right. Yeah, I kind of figured. Alright. <laughs> Welcome. Nothing.
nothing that extravagant. Right. Yeah. I kind of figured. All right. <laughs> well, let's get to the serious points of this knife. The Recon 1 is one of the flagship knives of Cold Steel, uh, original, one of the originals, made popular by Military Police Fire EMT. It features a 4-inch S35VN steel blade, DLC coated, which is diamond-like coating, rust resistant, scratch resistant. It has a G10 handle with a very textured grip, so you can hold on to it when your hands are wet, full of blood, full of grease, whatever you happen to get into. It's got a really nice grip. Of course, it features the triad lock, so it's a very strong lock mechanism. It only weighs 5.2 ounces, so it's a really good weight, really easy to carry around. You don't even know it's in you, on your pocket or on you. Nice. At MSRP, $176.99, it's a really good price point as well. Absolutely. And you know, in the market, there's definitely a place for less expensive knives. Um, mm. If you don't want the premium steel or you don't need an extra strong lock, you don't have to have the Recon 1. But if you want that stuff, the Recon 1 is definitely one of the best bang for the buck. And as I was saying about military, EMT, fire, police, those guys, their lives depend on their tools, the tools that they use. And sometimes someone else's life depends on the tools that they use. Yeah. So they want to have something that won't fail, that they can trust, and that they can count on. Yeah, for so sure. Obviously, the Recon 1 is definitely one of those. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us for the Cold Steel Corner. Uh, now it's time for some comments. Comment time! Yeah. All right, so the first comment is from Dick Richards <laughs> on a video of us doing things outside we recently published and he said best knife company in the market yeah thanks dick yeah dick you know we might be the best knife company in the market but dick you have the best youtube name in the market so <laughs> good on you i agree so this next one is from every video ever first oh my god <laughs> sometimes there's three or four firsts you're not all first and what's the point of being first can someone explain that to us? The next comment is from Mike Morris. Mike says, oh great, make a video right after you sell out. <laughs> I find it humorous that a selling point is, in quotes, easy to open. I own several CS products that are impossible to open with one hand. <laughs> oh man. Wow. What was his name, Mike? Mike Morris. Bro. Mike. Bro. Mike. One-handed operation. All day All long. day. No lunch, Mike. Skip lunch. You know why? Because it's all day, one hand. 24-7, bro. Not that hard. Hey, check it out. What? You can just do that? Oh, flip it around. And as far as the selling out comment goes, we can't help it that some of our knives are so popular that when they come in to stock or come into inventory, they go right out the door. Some of them don't even sit in our bay. Yeah. long enough you know we can't help that but what you can do mike is call us and do a pre-order that way you'll be guaranteed to get your knife when they come in i remember when we got the 8015 in oh my gosh those things sold out the first day it was crazy yeah. oh sometimes they sell in hours yeah so from the right. lose okay oh, okay i stabbed myself dude i don't know where i stabbed though that's because you're like it's because I was doing this, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm so nervous. All right, all right, all right. Let's just move on. Stop being so nervous. <laughs> all right. The next helps you know keep the blade nice and. Don't ramble on shit. <laughs> Don't ramble on shit. <laughs> Fucking rambling. We're just gonna assume that you're gonna do that though. So just go. Ahead. All right, all right. I think we got it. Solid, non-bloody hand. Yeah. Good call. <laughs>